So over here, you can see that I have my uh, storyboard workspace right here. And now in uh, the workspace, I can go around and rearrange out the space in the way I like. But sometimes what happens is that I may uh, accidentally close some tools right here and uh, I may not know where to actually find them. So in that case, you can go to Windows right here. And here you can see that there's various uh, options that you have access to. So you can press something like Guides right here, as you can see, and rearrange it out according to how you like it. But if you want to reset out the entire workspace, then you can go around onto the workspace area right here. And on workspace, you can go around, select out the work workspace you want, and it'll be rearranged out according to how you select it. So if I were to go around over here onto workspace right here, just like this, you can go around onto, let's say, for example, vertical right here. And you can see that the workspace gets rearranged according to how you choose it from over here. So you can also go around onto Workspace Manager right here and arrange out a particular workspace. Let's say, for example, uh, these are the workspace, as you can see right here. So you want to, let's say, for example, add this workspace right here. Then you can click on plus and there you go. You got your custom workspace over here as well. So let me just go around onto Workspace right here. So let's go for drawing. And what happens is that uh, you get the drawing workspace, as you can see right here. So depending on what you want, you can go around uh, over here and choose the workspace you want and access out all the tools from the left side over here. So that is um, how you can go around and in toolbars, you can enable and disable different things. Like you can disable, let's say, for example, clips and tracks right here. You can enable that out. You can go to toolbar right here. Let's say you don't want layer, so you can disable that out right here. And similarly, you can enable and disable different things according to how you like from over here as well. You can disable out the tools, as you can see. You can enable out the tools uh, over here as well, just like this. So that is how you can enable and disable things in your workspaces as well um, inside of Toonboom and customize the application um, uh, environment, the user interface, the way you want. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.